Hello there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Charles Abels, local photographer in and around the Prescott Valley area. And I hope you're hearing that. Hello. In a few minutes, I'm going to be leaving to head into Prescott to Panera's and attend a monthly meeting that we have known as the Plug Meeting or the Prescott Leica Users Group Meeting. I'm very excited. This is probably, I've been in the, been in the club or the group for the last uh, eight months when I was invited to join. And it's a great opportunity of the men and women in this group that live in the Prescott area. We have some that drive as far as from Williams or Tempe, Arizona, and attend this meeting. And they're a phenomenal group of folks. These are folks that have a passion and a love for photographing with Leicas. And I have to say that every time I leave this meeting, I am both intimidated and humbled by the experience each and every month. These guys and gals are phenomenal and they take their passion seriously and I have learned so much from that. So having said that, I do have a few moments before I have to go. I'll get back with you later on to talk to you. But first, I was asked on my channel if I could talk about it and so we're going to try to give it a, a, a small go of it because Frankly, I'm not a duty expert, but I do love this lens. This is my Leica MA, and it does have the Elmer M F28 50 millimeter lens on it. I will say I do love this lens. And when I did purchase this lens, I purchased it specifically for my Leica MA. I mean, look at it. Does this not look boss? What a great Saturday morning, late Saturday morning, early Saturday afternoon. After our Prescott's Like a Users Group meeting, a couple of friends and I decided to go downtown Prescott and see what was happening. And it was very, very fortunate that that day there was a car show going on. Where can you go wrong? On top of that, there was threat of rain. To the west of us, we had a tropical storm. Kate moving up through California so we had the outer ranges of the clouds and the rains and everything else so we had hit and miss with rain which added to the excitement now my thoughts on the lens before I go into too great a detail let me tell you what I was looking for when I had purchased and received this Leica MA fully mechanical camera with no bells and whistles. I'm somewhat of a romantic and so I had decided that when I was going to purchase a lens I was going to purchase a 50 millimeter lens. Those that know me know that I'm not necessarily too keen on 50 millimeters. I was born and raised in Arizona. My field of view is more accustomed to wide 35 millimeter, 28 millimeter. But I wanted to put a 50 millimeter lens on this MA. Having said that, the next consideration was cost. Let's not beat around the bush. Leica lenses are a bit pricey. I was not going to intentionally spend too much money. And so, in my search to find a lens for this camera, I found this collapsible Elmer M and I decided, okay, 
that's about as romantic as you can get because when you consider the history of Leicas, my oldest Leica camera is a 1931 and it has a collapsible 50 millimeter lens on it as well. And so I thought, let's go with that. Many people would argue that because it's collapsible, you can collapse it, lens cap it, and stick the camera if you wish in a large, say, coat, coat pocket. Now, on that note, let's talk about this particular lens. When you look at it, if you notice, it does have a hood, but if you really want to collapse it to the point to where it could fit inside your pocket, you're going to have to take the hood up. So that is one consideration, but because I don't stick my cameras in my coat pocket, for me, it was not an issue. But for those of you that consider a collapsible lens that you could push down and stick it in your pocket, Remember, the Elmer M does come with lens hood. That's a part of the accessory package, you might say. But, because I am, oh, how shall I say it? Well, frankly, I believe in having the lens hood on my cameras. Especially to help with the Arizona sunlight and because I hike and backpack and things of that nature. If it slams up against a rock or something, the hood's going to protect it. The one thing I love about these camera and the old lenses is they either have a knob or they have like a half moon radius that I love to aim in, stick in, or grab, and then be able to focus. Just easy. I mean, it's just easy. But you can't do it with this. You have to reach up and grab the focus ring and focus. So if I had, well, if I had really a big concern, it's actually just remembering that. Some highlights about this particular lens. This particular lens was actually manufactured with the thought of using it as a kit, kit lens with the Leica M6J. This was manufactured as a kit lens between 1994 and 1996. Now the interesting thing about it is when I looked at the serial number and tracked down the, the year of manufacture for my lens, it said that it was manufactured in 1995. So, did they manufacture this with an M6 for an M6J? And if so, where is the M6J? But I digress a little bit. Because after 1996, that's when they began to manufacture this as a standalone lens up until 2007. So between 1994, 2007, what, a 13 year run, they had manufactured these lens. It has four elements in three groups and is single coated. The diaphragms have six blades. The diaphragm is what you use for your f-stops or the aperture. It stops down all the way to f-16, great for landscape, and wide open, although not necessarily a fast lens, it's fast enough at f-2.8. Can focus as close as 2.3 feet. And the black version, say this particular version, is just six ounces. And then of course, it does come with the screw-on hood. So, in short, how would I rate this lens? Well, I'm gonna be, well, let's not beat around the bush. I am no, by far, no lens expert. When I purchased this, it was primarily as a romantic notion of what I can use to complement my Leica MA. It is an M-mount lens, and it just mounts on there beautifully. 
And frankly, I just, I don't have a gripe about this lens. I hope you take a few moments to subscribe down below. I'd like to say for those who have subscribed and who follows my channel, thank you, I appreciate it. So without further ado, until next time.